Hello, in the past videos in Azure DevOps, we have seen that how to create a pipeline and we have created an HTML report, which is like this. So this is a test and G basic report, but it's not interactable. So when I say not interactable, if you go to Azure DevOps in pipelines, if you click on anything, the report will not show anything. So by default, Azure DevOps does not support showing reporting inherently right so in the last video we have seen that how to show any html report which is a single page here but now this time in this video we'll see that how you can take show lr report here which is interactable so when i say interactable it's like so for example this is a report if i click on anywhere it takes me to somewhere right if i go here i can go i can see its various sections and stuff right so that does not happen natively with the way pipelines are there, right? If you see this, this is the report. And if you want to create such report, you can check that video. If I click on anything, you will see that report will go blank, right? So uh, you can see this previous video in the Azure DevOps playlist where I have told how to create a pipeline. And even you can see that, that how you can use the 1800 free minutes that you get per month, right? You can create your host pipeline and even you can run all of your GitHub code on a daily basis, right? Even if it takes, let's say 60 minutes to run all of your repos, if you run it daily, then it will take 1800 minutes of yours, otherwise not, right? Or you can decide which one you want to run. But let's focus in this video on the LR reporting. there are just two steps that you have to do. So the first step is install this extension LR report by QA Meta software, right? So just make sure you are installing from QA Meta software. So how you install is I'll share this link with you. You can search for Azure DevOps LR report extension, right? And just check that it is from QA Meta software. So once you click on this, get it free. It will check that whether you are logged in into a particular Azure DevOps. Uh, if it is for your project, it will ask for that project, right? And this is my Kurana Gaurav is my organization, right? Where in or where I want to install this. So here I will click this, right? And I am the admin of my organization, so it will allow me. In your case, it can take some time, like if it is for your office project, right? So it will go to the admin and you can see on the, so if you see, you are all set, right? So, so to see the extension, you will have to go to your organization, click on this organization settings, right? And there is an extension option. So if you see here, I have installed these extension. Last time we used this HTML viewer extension. This time we are using this LR report. Right. If it is not installed, you will see that pending with admin. You can ask your admin to give you permission, right? And they will install it. So once this is installed, we have this code to be added. Publish LR report, right? This code would uh, this code would only work if you have the extension installed. Otherwise, it will give an error. So only add this to your pipeline once the extension is installed. So this is the code that you have to paste, right? The latest version is 2.27.0, right? Uh, which I'm using and you can just copy this. And if you have multiple files, you can read this configuration and change the things, right? So for now, what I will do is let this existing report be there. And in my YAML file, I will uh, paste this here, right? And the version that I'm using is 2.27, right? Which is the latest version, right? For like, if you don't want to see it locally, you, you need not to install LR in your local system, right? That I have explained in the previous video. Like if you want to see the report, you can uh, do it in your local system as well by installing LR, right? So I have 2.27 version, but you can keep this as the latest one, 2.27, right? And give any suitable name for this. This I will give as this target slash LR results, right? So we can come to this YAML file and we can give the path as this target slash LR result and we are done. Now I'll push this code and I'll show you. And if you don't know how to push the code, you can look at the videos that are there in that series where I have talked about Git basics, where I have told how you can check in your code. 
so i have pushed the code directly into main right if you see now my pipeline should get automatically triggered so i'll go to this project automation right which we are using it and then i so we'll go to pipeline to see so now you see that pipeline got triggered and we'll wait for this pipeline to get over last time we were seeing an html viewer tab over here now a layout tab should come here so let's wait for the pipeline to complete there are 26 uh, test i think 22 pass and four gets failed so this one is the old one and this is the new one where we want to see an interactable html report so lr is very simple in the previous video you can see that how we can uh, generate a report locally right even for this let me show you to go in your target folder and give this command lr sir lr is installed you can check that in the previous video now you will see that a beautiful report uh, will get opened and here in the target folder uh, lr results all these files are used to generate that report right so it will open now yeah so the report looks like this right and i have not done anything right much to make the changes right you can check here you can apply even filters 22 4 right and i can check it out and what are the categories in which test defects are there right you can see the details even here that why it was not working what are the reasons so it is easier to fix as well right so let's wait for it to complete and then okay it has already completed publish lr report all these are green this one is it shows because there are some failures so that's why this warning symbol comes right so you see there we have lr report now and let's see whether we are able to interact with it and you can yourself guess that or check it out that how is it looking right you can able to click here and it takes you there so it's an interactable report and for anyone who is working on the project whether they are testers or developers or bas and everyone can they can come here and they can see this report to see that how the pipeline is looking right so we did just two steps we installed this extension we added this in our yaml pipeline right before that we had uh, added the dependency in our project and created this file right no need to install lr locally if you want to see in pipeline but if you want to see the report locally you can do that as well so hope you like it and do subscribe to my channel and leave a comment in case you get stuck or if you find this useful thank you for watching